Tim, when you look at the volatility, it's, it's, I mean, the volatility yesterday was really pretty crazy. I would say for the last 48 hours, has it taught the markets anything about market functions? Well, I think there are a couple things to, to, to consider here. Number one, just an observation. It was quite interesting yesterday that the U.S. VIX was substantially higher than the European, European. V2X. Yep. That's a rare occurrence if you look over a period of time. Uh, secondly, you know, volatility comes and goes. Clearly, it's it's inversely related with market. It's down. Volatility will spike, and you know, assuredly, when we see a spike like this, in our estimation, when there's not an underlying fundamental change, we don't have a crisis of some sort. Um, this will come back. You know, markets are markets go through life cycles, from value to growth to momentum, and we've clearly been, I think, as we've discussed, in a momentum phase. And you know, you get catalysts like interest rates um, that we've seen rise on both sides of the uh, the Atlantic, and you end up with a a little tweak, and all, right. all of a sudden, volatility goes. Okay, Kate, were you probably relaxed yesterday? It didn't affect the FX markets. Uh, no, FX isn't in the, the very middle of the, of the crosshairs on this one. And in a sense, you get, the, you, know, you get the sense that there are people who are short volatility. And we've been addicted to low rates for a decade now. And, 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 and one of the things that's come with that, though, I think there are a lot of people who are short volatility in a, in a bunch of ways. So there are FX trades that are affected by that. You know, right. A higher vol world is a stronger yen world. Um, a higher vol world is a weaker world for higher yielding currencies. But it's... It's tangential, or it's a second second order effect so okay. far. But was this volatility that was actually pent up from 18 months of no volatility? Well, I, I think that you could argue that that is indeed the case. We've seen a downtrend the last couple of years in volatility. Um, Interesting enough, if we're moving to a higher interest rate world and the market needs to adjust and we've got extended equity valuations, it's not a surprise that you have a momentary one-off spike as there is some adjustment. And we're going to go through days like that. I'm not right. too fussed about it.